Dozens of civil society organizations, experts and academics are calling for more careful consideration of artificial intelligence measures by the federal government. We're joined live by Daniel Konikoff, Interim Director of Privacy, Technology and Surveillance at the Canadian Civil Liberties Association. Thanks so much for joining us, Daniel. Obviously, uh, I think for a lot of people, AI is completely fascinating but also terrifying at, at the same time. Talk a little bit about what, what your organization would like to see from the feds when it comes to, um, you know, approaching this, this new form of technology. For sure. So, you know, while a lot of concerns about AI kind of fall into that ambit of a killer robot takeover, a lot of that is quite far-fetched. Um, but the more realistic and, and obvious way that AI is really going to be having the most impact is in generating a disinformation, threatening democracy, perhaps putting people out of work, contributing to social inequalities through biased decision-making in all sorts of sectors from healthcare to finance to criminal justice, um, civil society would really love uh, a lot of revision to the currently proposed Artificial Intelligence and Data Act, um, um, primarily an emphasis on human rights, right? Um, something that puts human rights first above consumers and private interests. Right now uh, in the European Union, we know that they have been looking at the, uh, the, um, the AI Regulation Act, uh, and it seems as though that in Europe sometimes they are always almost a little bit of a step ahead of us in what happens in Canada. So I'm curious, do you feel that you know, Canada is paying close attention to what other major countries and unions around the world are doing um, to, to deal with um, the, the rise of AI? Uh, I absolutely presume that they're trying their best to keep up, and I commend them for that. It is not easy to be on the cutting edge of a governance regime that is changing um, so quickly uh, and, and can frankly feel like it's moving from minute to minute. Uh, unfortunately, there are areas where Canada's proposed AI regulation governance frameworks fall behind from what we're seeing in the EU and even in the proposed blueprint uh, in the United States. Um, specifically, the EU, uh, the EU example is a lot more fleshed out, um, focuses a lot more on risk, but ties those risks in with uh, people's rights to privacy and is more human centric. There is obvious, uh, clear and understandable concerns about the rise of, you know, misinformation, especially, you know, coming out of the pandemic and what we saw on social media. Daniel, I'm curious, what are some of your direct concerns? And if you can list some examples of, of, of what, you know, c concerns you about how AI can, you know, really harm um, public perception, uh, public knowledge on a wide range of, of issues and topics. Sure. I mean, chat GPT and generative AI more generally, as we're seeing, can have a tremendous impact on uh, even people who are generating cyber attacks, uh, as well as folks uh, in their facility. And it can have a, quite a significant impact on people's ability to generate misinformation a lot quicker um, and perhaps a lot more convincingly as these things develop. Uh, so I, I see the potential for AI to have these very concrete impacts on the public. Daniel Konikoff with the Canadian Civil Liberties Association. We appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us.